Hello and welcome everyone, Robe Gaming here, and I'm going to be doing a mod showcase and slight tutorial for Simple Spawners. Now, this is the updated version. Um, uh, this will be as of 2023, near the end of it. Um, so anything that happens after that, it's not going to be in this video. But we also have the new stuff that wasn't here before from the old tutorial from everybody else. So let's get into it. First, we need to turn on uh, the mod, essentially for us admins to have access to it. To do that, we have to use a specific special admin cheat command. It's a script command. Um, and it, the command is admin cheat script command simple spawners. So we use that, a menu pops up. Now, um, we have spawners, utilities, and structures. Um, and this, the whole, the whole UI has been redone from what it used to be. Um, so, creature spawner gives any uh, creatures. Loot spawner is things like beacons and loot crates. Resources gives resources. Uh, sets up trees and rocks. Uh, summoner. Um, we're going to that a little bit, nest, and then spawn location, and cover that a little bit. So we're going to grab some terminals, city terminal, no build zone, radiation zone, prevention zone, light source, I haven't messed with that before, charge node, gas vein, wild plant, species Z, water vein, and oil vein. Now, what we are going to do for this is we're going to turn this blank empty area into a aberration um, mini biome. So we're going to get to work on that and some things will get cut out later on. Some will be kept. Okay, so I have gone ahead and changed quite a few things. I've set up spawns for nearly every single aberration. Um, so I'm just going to go through this real quick. So all of the, except for that, everything is set, has a spawn set to it. Um, so visual effect on, on spawn is it has a nice little flash Increment levels, um, let's go to 300 for the level range. Increment levels, let's turn that on. Let's start at 15. Uh, we're not doing custom colors, but you can change custom colors. And you can also change the percent. We are not doing spawn globally. Spawner will be enabled. Uh, the allow roaming will be on. The spawn area will be 300, 300, 100. So 300 wide, 300 long, three, and 100 tall. Uh, let's add a chance for babies to 20% for babies. Uh, spawn up to limit. Uh, we're not doing that because we want to keep these numbers, not the 9,999. Um, respawn interval, let's go with 15. Chance to Spawn 100, spawn hours basically all day long, and we're going to name this, we're going to name it Aberrant Dino Spawner, right? So we're going to save, and then we're going to force some creature spawns a few times. So now we have some Aberrant Creatures. Spawning around Aberrant Horde, Aberrant Turtle, Guanadon, uh, Scorpion, and that's just step one. Now, uh, let's actually look at the range. So, show area range. This is the spawn radius that everything's going to spawn inside. So, oh, we're going to turn that off. We're going to add some resources. Let's go with some of these. One there. One there. And 
second one there. You can put down oil veins, which, yes, you can put an oil drill on, and it, yes, will gather oil. You can put down the charge nodes. So there's gas veins you can place. There's also water veins. You can set up a radiation zone if you so desire. So this is the radiation box. And now I've got radiation poisoning. Wait for that to go away. So now that we showed the radiation, we're going to do some resources. Uh, you can no longer change what they look like. That's new, that's different, and I don't... Uh, yeah, it's fine, I suppose. So, for the resources, let's add some aberration stone with metal. Let's make 50. Go with 100. Average stone with metal, let's set 100. Let's see, let's make some element ore. Let's put 50. Green zone, red zone, bioluminescent. Let's add 100 of each. So this is using the first resource spawner. We've got some trees set up here and there and some uh, rocks with metal. Now we're gonna do another one. Okay, everyone. So what I have now is I have one creature spawner and I have four resource spawners. Uh, the main reason to have four of these is you can only have five resources per resource spawner, but you can have almost a near limitless amount for the creature spawner so it's a whole lot easier if you want to just do it in one massive area so right now uh just going to do a quick look around so this is what you can do with simple spawners and this is just the bulk of what is usually done. It's not even everything yet. So, nest spawner. Let's go with nest spawner. So, for a nest spawner, you can actually scan for creatures. I see. Look, there's a glow tail. So, for the nest spawner, you can make it always visible. You can make it an underwater nest. You can show the scan radius if you need. But, uh, so it does what it, uh, it's pretty straightforward. So there's Megalanias around here within this 16 range. So now there's a Megalania egg. Now this is something kind of interesting. This is a spawner. Well, no, a, this is a summoner. So you have to set it up through the radial menu, you can't just open it as usual because this is actually something players can interact with as well. Just like the, um, just like the struct, all these structures can be interacted with. Uh, well, not all. The terminal, city terminal, the oil vein, water vein, wild species X, uh, species Z, I mean, gas vein and charge node, all of them can be interacted with so to configure this you have to do the radio menu um, you can add creatures that need uh, to uh, spawn them but you have to do it through the select creatures let's see I want corrupted carnotaurus so now the Corrupted Carnotaurus is the first one. 
where to spawn. Okay, so now that I actually followed the instruction. Okay, so say I've got this set up with one fungal wood and one thatch. I could spawn a corrupt Carnotaurus with one fungal wood and one thatch. So let's save that and set it. down just a little. So you can summon creatures as tameable and even if they're not normally and you can summon creatures as tamed already. Let's pick something else. Maybe it's because it's corrupt that the game's not letting it. He's a cute little baby. So that's what the summoner does. Now we have a, let's see, let's go with this. This lets you do bosses and a few crafting things. Portal, it only works for that particular, for the, the maps that you put it on but it put, lets you do it anywhere. This is the Extinction City Terminal. So you can convert things, make the drone, drone, and you can make the Enforcer. The No Build Zone and the Prevention Zone. Let's explore the Prevention Zone since that one's actually not so straightforward. So the prevention zone, you know, the options are prevent flying, prevent cryopod deployment, uh, prevent your grappling hook, prevent PVP damage uh, to players and creatures only, um, prevent structure damage, and kill everything in zone. Beyond that, you've got the loot spawner. The simple spawner spawn location, you connect this to a spawner and instead of in the whole range, you can make certain creatures spawn at each one of these spots. So with this, you can just set up artifacts where they'll spawn whatever you set up. And that is pretty much it for simple spawners. Um, so let's add, let's add a beacon, because why not? And down comes a beacon. Yeah, so that is Simple Spawners. This was Rove Gaming doing another mod showcase. And we've got our little aberration mini biome that we set up with the mod Simple Spawners. And I hope everybody liked and enjoyed this. Hopefully this helps a little bit. This was mostly just a showcase and a tiny itty bitty bit of a tutorial. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, as it really does help. And I will see you all for the next one. Later!